Ok. Oui. Cool, guys. Um, so, uh, last time I was talking about um, probably writing a synthwave track for today. So, that's probably the direction I'm gonna take. Um, just um, like anything influenced by uh, Carpenter Brut or Perturbator or whatever. Um, kind of stuff I made for the game Hackness as well. Um, which is like, yeah pretty cool if you want to check it out uh, the game is called Hacknet and I've made a few tracks for it uh, it's pretty it's cool so how is everyone going um, so I'm gonna start probably walking with um, with CS80 Oh, I was checking out um, the Roland Artist Center this morning in, in Berlin because I got invited by um, the drummer from the band Heaven Shall Burn in Berlin. He actually got me in touch with the guy, the uh, artist relations from Roland this morning and I was checking out like some synthesizer and stuff uh, there and they have like this, um, the Roland System 8 which is really amazing because it has like um, a built-in emulation of uh, the the Juno synthesizer and uh, and another one can't remember which one but it's it's like it's a beast it's a beast it's it's such a cool synth and uh, and they have like so much gear at this place it's insane all right. Cool. I'm sorry again if there is a bit of delay between uh, your, your comments and me replying to it because I'm actually watching my own uh, Twitch uh, stream right now because my second monitor didn't work uh, today. Can I play the Smash Mouth remix live on the next tour? Um, well, I need someone to sing. The, the because the Smash Mouth remix is basically Floating Point, so if you play Floating Point and you want to sing um, uh, Smash Mouth over it, you're welcome to do it. Because I can't. <laughs> so yeah, I'm now gonna make some noise. Hopefully the levels are still good. It's a little bit awkward to have the microphone in front of me, but I'm probably gonna get used to it. Salut les Français. Uh, je suis désolé, je parle principalement en anglais sur ce stream, vu que c'est principalement la majorité des gens. Voilà, je fais un petit coucou à Michel, Michel le violon gay, qui se reconnaîtra parmi tant d'autres. Sinon ça va, merci. Ça va et toi? Sorry for the French. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, no more inside jokes. Let's just write music now. Um, I love the synths. Like all the pre there's so much, so many interesting presets. I honestly, the the, the synths is like so complicated. I just go through the presets and it usually sound good and then I, I just tweak like a few settings in there but it's like you know what I'm gonna start with um, a drum beat first actually
Okay, I know I use this one all the time, but I just love it. I, I love the synths. It's, it's just for the um, typical synth with bass sort of thing. It's just you don't need anything else. I think usually what I do is um, I would write maybe this one is a bit too. This one's cool. I will just tweak a bit of the cutoff frequency and uh, put some sidechain compression on the. Usually what I like to do as well is um, play around with the fat filter saturn. Oh, you know what, I'll do that later. Because it depends on the, m the amount of uh, overdrive I put on the, on the lead synths and on the pads. Is the KFA Sherling in chat? Yeah, please do. Grenoble, uh, non, pas pour l'instant. On y viendra. Okay, I'm gonna use uh, the secret weapon. The, <laughs> the snare. Okay, what I like to do with this snare, usually, obviously, um, you need to cut all the low end because there's loads of low end on this snare. So I just cut it and I also like to cut um, a lot of the of this high hand here and make it really... I think it helps, uh, what I found is it helps bring the, um, all the scenes a little bit more forward because if you have like a snare that's really trebly and really uh, like very, so very bright like this uh, you're gonna end up masking a little bit of the synths and uh, so I just like to like roll um, roll the frequency a little bit and have it a bit more like isolated like that and I would will do the same thing with the kick maybe not as aggressive and obviously I will keep the low end Oh, you can't post link. Oh, sorry. I, I really didn't know you couldn't do that because uh, I'm not very familiar with Nightbot. Uh, but um, yeah, that that worked. The second one worked. Nice one. <laughs> All right. Um, you know what? I'm just going to keep going with the CS80. Okay, maybe not a shitload, but just enough. Let's 
let's just record that and then we'll see how this evolves. See, when I start to bring uh, a little bit more of the brightness of the snare, it tends to be just a little bit too present. I don't know, I just I just like it like a, a little bit more in the background like that. It's still very powerful, it's still a bit aggressive, but it's not so much uh, in the foreground, I guess. Sorry, that was a bit loud. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. try to um, have some sort of melody going on
French lesson. <laughs> I keep I keep fucking this. It's so simple.
Okay. I think this melody gets a bit boring when it's uh, repeated a bit too much. So. cliche one no this one
I cannot say if someone donated or something because I cannot say if someone donated or whatever because uh, I don't have my second monitor running. Oh, okay, someone donated. Cool, thank you, man. Sorry, I will I will always um, see the donation with like a 10 seconds delay or whatever, but I hear the sound 10 seconds before and then I can only read the name 10 seconds later. But thank you, man. I appreciate it.
Okay. It's getting a little bit better now. Um, just need a bit like to work on the transition here. Just I just want to add more tension uh, at the end of this riff here. So because because here everything is going a little bit crazy with the bass and stuff, and here this synth is coming in the foreground. So it needs, I guess, it needs uh, everything else to be a little bit more in the background. That's why I put um, this filter here, just so this is not so much the focus anymore, and we keep this new element here as a focus. Um, but I need to like build a little bit more tension here, so you, when you listen to it, you actually are expecting something to hit exactly at this time. Uh, so what I will do is um, put some kind of riser. Usually I just use mostly the same ones just because it works. No, not this one, the noise one. This one is not so long. I have better ones. This one, if you reverse it, it's not so bad. Uh, thank you for the donation. I, I can't read your name yet, yet, so I don't know who donated. Oh wow, $22, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> thank you so much, that's... that's that's so fucking nice. Thank you, man. roll here just so it adds a little bit more of a dramatic uh, effect exactly at this point because there's so many uh, I mean there's one drum roll here I should probably have this one why did I start on the second bar that's so weird okay that's better now so we have this which is four blocks that's like kind of the intro and then this riff is repeating two times I'm gonna repeat this here and I'm gonna put a bit of reverb on the terms as well that's more 80s <laughs> the more reverb you put the more 80s uh, it's gonna sound
Yeah, it's a good idea. Let's just put reverb on the master track. <laughs> uh, it basically sounds like Vaporwave.
Okay, and uh, I need to add uh, something different on the second uh, iteration of the riff. So I could add like a random, random synth. I was gonna add a ride, but that's I have the feeling that's a technique I'm using a bit too much at this point. Like I always. Uh, I always add a ride at some point just just because it adds this uh very like metal sort of vibe um and we, it really um it really helps to enhance the the um, the punch of the kick drum as well I'm gonna keep it like that, it's actually kinda cool, so... <laughs> Probably saves this project just in case. Stream six, all right. <laughs> one seventy five. Okay, let's let's hear how it sounds at one seventy five. Kinda cool actually.
I think the first part sound actually really good, uh, a bit faster, but this second one, not so much. Um, but let's keep it maybe one, 128. Let's try. That sounds much better. kind of uh, solo or whatever during the section um, that's the issue of having so many plugins you end up not knowing which one to use Okay, I think the pitch band on my keyboard is fucked.
still think it's a little bit too fast actually I need to add a bit more stuff going on during this section. I was thinking um, going a little bit in a glitch direction for it. So uh, what I usually do is I just load a bunch of samples like um, a bunch of snares, a bunch of claps. I just use like the very beginning of the sample that's too short <laughs>
Ah uh, yes, some uh, some songs are drop A, some songs are uh, are in C. Um, a few songs in F sharp, I guess. But mainly it's uh, A and C. That's mostly the, the the tuning I'm using. And on the guitar, uh, right now I'm in uh, open A, but uh, I use um, I use open C a lot as well, live. That's what I use. And uh, yeah, when you only have one guitar, it's it's more practical to have all the songs in the same tuning. So that's why uh, I chose to uh, write brute force mostly in C, just because it's much easier, like with one guitar. But there's a few tracks like uh, "Deadlock" is in D, I think, and uh, another one is as another scale. I think "User Space" is uh, something. I'm not sure. Maybe it's in G. I'm not sure exactly, but yeah, mostly C. minor okay i was wrong <laughs> i don't even know the the tuning of my own tracks
actually pretty cool. Okay, let's listen from the beginning. Thanks for the donation. Thank you, man. I appreciate it.
not so sure where I'm going with this. Uh, but uh, let's try something out. Maybe more like a melody.
Oui, ça en dirait une balle. Hein. Un What's going on in the chat right now? What the f <laughs> What's going on? Meryl est fou? soon gonna be finished uh, so let's just um, kind of want to add like some sort of pad here I will then bring this CS81 again Thanks a lot for the donation, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you to everyone uh, who donated during the stream. I really appreciate it. It really helps me, so I can't tell it enough times. Thanks a lot. <laughs>
Let's just add some quick fills. Nope. Okay, let's just listen to the track from the beginning because I'm not really sure if <laughs> of what I just did. Um, I want to be cra I want a bit crazy with the with the tempo change here. I don't really know. I was like, why not? So, but I'm not exactly sure it works with everything. But let's just hear it. <laughs>
not it's not so bad i think uh this transition could be a little bit better because this melody kind of uh appears from nowhere a little bit <laughs> Maybe I can already build the tension a little bit before. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, is it intense enough? The intense intensification of the intensiveness? I don't really know. Alright. Uh, how does that sound for you guys? Do you enjoy the track? Do you wish I would have done things differently? Uh, what do you want to hear for the next stream? Do you want to hear more metal stuff? Or more synthwave stuff uh, like this one? What do you guys prefer? Uh, also, the stream is going to be up on YouTube uh, tomorrow in case you want to uh, watch it again. Uh, do you want more intense stuff? Do you want... Should I make more in intensiveness? We wave. <laughs> Uh, that's the best one so far. <laughs> okay, more intensity for next time, for sure, guys. I'm gonna make sure to crank that intensity button. Drum and bass with polka. That's actually a good idea. more message deleted metal <laughs> good to see you here by the way uh, MBR Mets message deleted wave I don't know is it are you doing this on purpose like the the censorship thing F 
from Vapor to Dubstep to Metal to Prog to Ambient. Twitch Wave. <laughs> Stream Wave. Two hours to write a track wave, I guess. Inten intense wave. <laughs> Spamling here, that wave. Yeah, all of these sound amazing, guys. Gonna make sure to take note and uh, I will definitely give it a try next time. Uh, definitely make things more intense just for you guys. And you like it. You like it intense. Um, so I'll give a quick master ring for this track. Um, last time I tried um, using Ozone during a stream, but for some reason I think uh, it's using way too much CPU and the sound was uh, was uh, was crackling and st was cracking and stuff, so uh, I'll give it a try again uh, this time, but I'm not sure it's gonna work out. No, that's not this one. Oh, how, yeah, you should name the track, actually, but I was thinking about that, but I don't know how we can create a, a democratic system for that. How do you want, do you have any idea how we should do it? Because I don't think we can do um, polls on Twitch. That should be something, maybe with the bot, maybe that's a way to program the bot uh, to have, uh, to have some kind of poll, but... You know what, for this time I'll choose the best one. So far I have uh, We Wave, which is pretty good, pretty simple, straight to the point. Yeah, maybe on Facebook. Yeah, you, know, you know what, uh, for this time I'll just, I'll just choose it and then next time I will maybe find a way to use um, the, the bot to create polls. Maybe there's a way to c program bots to have polls or whatever. Uh, let's let's check it out. Twitch bot poll system create a poll for your Twitch audience. Streampoll.tv. Right, I found it. Can I, can I actually already do it? That'd be awesome. Okay. Question. Oh, I bet I have to choose the options. Followers, everyone. Yeah, but I have to shoot the options. I wanted to. Alright. Let's just do it here. I prefer the design here. I think here it looks a little bit like shit. So, fuck this. What's the name of today's track? Option 1. We wave. Option two. Message deleted. Option three. Okay, I think uh, looking at the chat, I'm pretty sure message deleted is actually uh, winning. Do I need to do the poll? Soup du jour. <laughs> That's a good one. With with the mistake. Actually soup is written like this, but I like the mistake. I like it like that. Okay. Let's just have this. 
and then okay no I am watching myself. Come on, guys. Let's let's have the track running in the background so you can have a little bit of a taste, and you can ch you can choose uh, the most uh, intense name for the track. Here's a track for today and the timer looks pretty good. Finish the track one minute before two hours. Uh, headphones, yes, yeah, so it's uh, Sennheiser's HD650. I've been using them for a really long time. Um, basically, those are the first headphones I've ever bought. 
and um, I've never had to change because they're just really good. I've tried many different ones. I've tried AKG uh, headphones, but uh, Zeus uh, HD 650s, I just feel uh, really good. So, um, so there's no point for me to, uh, to, to try something else. They're half open. So it's not really good if you're listening to it in the street or I just use it for the studio. I never bring them outside the studio. Okay, we have a winner. That's a really good title. I'm glad you guys found this one. Can I actually save a project file using those characters? No. All right. Let's just save it like that and maybe you can... Um, when I will save it as mp3, maybe I can uh, put those characters in the id3 tag. I don't know. I have to try. So here it is, guys. Um, if you want to get, yeah, you can you can donate with ATI, um, Ethereum or Bitcoin. I prefer Ethereum. So if you want my Ethereum address, I can give it to you now. Wait a minute. Where can I? Okay, that's my Ethereum address. That's my Ethereum address. Um, so the way we're going to calculate it is I think Ethereum right now is about 200 euros so if you want to send just send whatever you want okay just send whatever you want and uh, I will send you the track anyway so don't worry uh, yeah if you want to donate if you want to get the track you just donate uh, you can donate with PayPal, you can also donate with Ethereum. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the track. That was a, a really funny stream. I think it was the best one so far. <laughs> you guys you guys are crazy. Thanks a lot for the donations once again and uh thanks for the followers. Yeah, I started playing Witcher 3. Um, actually, I started playing Witcher last year and I, um, I, f I almost finished it, but I just decided to, um, to, to reboot it and start it from the beginning. I'll just be so because I stopped playing it for, uh, for a such, such a long time that I actually forgot most of the story and most of the stuff that I was doing. So I wanted to play it again, but I was like, might as well start it from the beginning, right? So I see you guys on Monday for the next uh, uh, songwriting stream. I am not sure that I will do the game stream uh, anymore. Just I need to find a better concept because uh, Maybe I will do it, but then I will put like some kind of playlist in the background and we can talk about music and whatever. I will think about it, uh, but tomorrow I'm not available anyway, so I won't be able to stream. That's why I uh, actually deleted the, 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 the Twitch panel thing right now. So right now I'm not doing the, um, the game stream anymore, but I will find, I will think about a better concept and I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure I'll, I'll come with a better idea than just gaming and just talking, you know. I, I think it needs, it needs something better than that. 
So I'll see you guys on Monday for the next songwriting stream, same time, uh, to have us write a track. And thanks a lot for hanging out. Oh yeah, that's a really good idea about the Nightbot service. Maybe we should do that. I will look into it. See you guys Monday. Uh, it was a pleasure spending time with you. Thanks for everything. See ya guys.